Hello and welcome to Custom Mech Wars, the demo, the prototype version. I have heard very good things about this, so we're going to check it out. First, let's go to the hangar and see what we're dealing with. We have the White Griffin. Okay, two rifles. That's a lot of gear on one mech. Uh, all right. Are those pistols underneath? We've got a Gatling. We've got a nice shoulder rifle and then missile pods. We've got the Zephyr. Wow, okay. All right. The Wild Beast. Oh, okay. I didn't realize we were also looking at bipedal mechs too. This has got, it's got a very Tryon 3-ish feel. And I know people will be like, well, that was based on Galleon from Gal Gar. It's like, well, yeah, it was. Look how thin the waist is, you know? That's why it made me think more of that. Bikini armor. Sure. Oh, the Baraga. All right, so we can create a new one, right? Let's not go with Miyoko 918. Let's go with... Let's go with Go. For now, we can rename it later. Key parts, legs. Can we see the legs in a bigger... Bigger display? No. Okay, but we can select them. Yarg are bigger legs. Okay. We also have basic tank. We've got... Wait, I thought this was legs. Am I trying to put legs on top of legs right now? Is that what I'm trying to do? I am. Okay. That's interesting. It looks like and tetrapod legs right there. It looks like you'll be able to do some pretty crazy stuff here. All right, let's go with the horse legs. For chest part, we have... Armored core. We've got Gundam. I wonder if we could make a uh, scope dog in this. I don't even know how the game plays. I kind of don't even care how the game plays at this point. I'm just focused on the customization. Sure, this will be good. Uh, for head. All right, we've got some good options here. Okay. It looks like we could move. Yeah, we can move where it connects. So we could say, I wish I had more freedom for where to move them. Like I, I wish I didn't have to use the D-pad to do it. I want to put it on the end of the nose right there. Oh, that looks terrible. Okay, we'll put it right there. Looks like we have like free control with it. There's a lot of things it looks like we could do with this. Okay. Lots of different options too. All right, right arm. Okay. Is that weapon to arm? Yes. All rifle, regular rifles, uh, shotguns, submachine guns, sniper rifles, rocket launchers. Honeycomb launchers, bazookas, grenade launchers, grenades, double launcher, quad launcher, landmines, hell scissor? Trap, which connected slightly limits the target's movements. War saber, pulverizer, a hammer, mining drill, rotary blade. All right, well, we're going to go rotary blade on this arm. Then for the left arm, let's go with, we should make a match. We'll go for another weapon. We'll go for a mining drill. 
And then can we add more weapons? Not to the head. Not to the chest. I want to add a gun, but I don't want to give up my... Armaments. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Main weapon. A tank cannon? <laughs> okay. Can we do what I think we can do? Is this a thing we can do? Can we... It sure is. I want to customize it. Can I? No, I want it there still. Put it back. Okay. And then I want to make it bigger. I just want to move it forward a little bit so we're not. Yeah, so we're not clipping. Perfect. Our max weight is very heavy right now. I don't care. Sub lock on weapon. Look, hell scissor sounds pretty cool, but we'll put a we'll put a quad launcher on the back. It's, look, we could just put it right on top right there. I feel like this is going to be very customizable because of this and people are going to make some really dumb cool stuff. All right, well, I'd kind of like it to face. this way I would also like it if it was actually connected to the unit at all but if it floats that's fine too we already have melee weapons installed an auto unit ooh auto cannon okay put the auto cannon uh, on the other side, I guess. And critical is the tank cannon. Okay. So we're good. All right. I'm digging this. Armaments are pretty good. What about accessories? We can put shields on. We're like 10 minutes into this video and we haven't even seen what the game plays like. We just made a really dumb, cool thing. Wing decorations, spike pads, bull horns, quadruplate, trapat. I was trying to read that as like trapezoid, but it's trapezoid. <laughs> Look, it's been a long day, okay? Mountain plate, angle bracket, propellant tank, wing parts, dummy cockpits. Uh, let's put a kinetic shield on there. Right there at the back. Oh, we can make it bigger. Really dumb. I don't like the kinetic shield. What about uh what a red light? And then we're gonna turn it. Not the way I meant to do. face this way All right change color full body oh okay red that orange actually isn't bad almost gun lay on colors oh, I like that deep red no go back I like it I like that deep red a lot all right, color two. Bad, bad. 
color three. I don't like the gray, honestly. I think we're gonna keep color three at the gray, but we're gonna change this blue. Can make it the red as well. Leave that red the way it is. We change this green. Maybe we change it also to the orange. This is this is coming together right now. Yeah, we got we got something going on now. And then the gold uh, for that light, we can make that into maybe the bright green, or maybe the blue would look nice. Yeah. All right. Test changes. I have no idea how this game plays. We're about to find out. <laughs> we could have made all this and it not even. Oh, okay. I thought we might be really heavy with everything, but we're not. Ooh. Oh, and we can fly. How do we shoot? Locked on. We're firing our missiles. Okay. How do I melee? Oh, we just. We just melee. Seems effective, but what is the actual like melee button? Circle? Okay. I see it now on the side over there. All right, well, this thing seems like a nightmare that we've created. That's the auto cannon, which can only fire the way we're facing. And that's our missiles. Which also can only fire the way we're facing and we put them on a leg. Okay. You know what though? I'm here for it. This seems dumb and fun. Yeah. We'll make this weird thing. And if it winds up being too much of a trouble, we'll, uh, we'll use one of the pre-mades. I do kind of want to see at this point now if we can make a scope dog, but do that later. Uh, I can change equipment, which means I can change to our go. A deployment movie. What is that? Oh, we get to. Oh. Okay. We get to set how it deploys. Okay, that's cool. We're not gonna dive deep into this, but that's, it seems like they know what they're doing, right? They know that they wanted to make a game where people could go in deep and it looks like that's exactly what they're doing. So. Okay. Go to abode in the CEO. We're still not, okay, it's gonna let us select. Okay, let's go to go. Let's check this out. I kind of don't care about actually playing the game. I just want to make suits and make cool deployment movies for them. All right. Auto cannon shots going through. Get our drill and our... Rotary blade? Flying actually doesn't feel too bad at all. That auto cannon is terrible, though. I'm, I'm trying to fire it. And I'm not doing well with it at all. Like it does good damage. If we build it not on the legs, it would probably be really good. But we put it on the legs instead. Oh. I'm Trying to jump. Oh no. Okay. We may have to. We may have to redo controls here. I want to see what that thing is. Looks like it's just a heel. All right, let's get into melee. That's where we really shine. We get all this range nonsense. Let's take out that touch coma. Right, melee does not feel super great.
It's effective. It's very effective. It missed a point blank range. Come on. Wave clear. All right, we'll do another mission after this and we'll try one of the pre -mades. Doesn't have the nonsense that we've made. Although, honestly, I'm digging this thing. I can't see my red light lighting up, but that's probably because the whole mech is red. But, you know, this is effective, if nothing else. holding circle and boosting into enemies except for when it doesn't connect with them i guess we cut that tree down too wow. don't mind me <laughs> just literally walking through you like we're taking damage yes but also they're dying so I don't think it's quite supposed to work like this. Or maybe it is. Maybe they just, you know, it's about having fun and they didn't really care. Because I feel like if I got pretty good about learning how weapons fired in this game, I could boost around almost every attack and just do this every time. Oh, that's a big guy. Our legs have taken a lot of damage, though. It's not great. We still have a lot of health, though. Feel like we're getting close to the end of this mission? Uh, the flying is a little rough with four legs. And with how heavy we are, I feel like it probably gets better when you're not super heavy. Go ahead and fire. A bunch of shots into him from range. Yeah, that auto cannon is pretty much worthless. A boost. Oh, we got a little bit. Almost looked like there was a stagger animation for a second there. Uh, we got that guy as he spawned. Wait, that's not the auto cannon, is it? Where's our tank? Our tank shot on our front. Is that that's what we're firing? The auto cannon is it firing on its own, or are we just not firing? It? All right, look, I'm trying to figure stuff out. You're not making it easy. What does R1 do? Nothing. Nice. Remaining enemy units are few. That's not very accurate, but again, it's tied to our movement, so I get it. I feel like that auto cannon hasn't fired once this whole time. Okay. I'm just pushing buttons at this time, I'm trying to see. We can get the auto cannon to fire. Because that's melee. Alright, we gotta deal with these guys. We can't keep playing around here. Oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna lose our legs if we're not careful here. I got playing around too long. How did that miss? Well, that's right in front of him. How did that miss? Oh, there's more. I thought that was the last of them. It said the enemy numbers were few.
Wait, did we lose an arm? I think we lost an arm. I think we just have the drill left now. Yeah, we lost an arm. The rotary blade's been cut off. Uh, there's an even bigger guy. Trying to dodge as much as I can. We didn't make a very good pick, but at least it was cool. Yeah, this combat's very simplistic, right? Our allies are less than useless. <laughs> They're just hanging out all the way. I guess we could supposed to go get them. I'm not going to do that. Hopefully these are the last enemies because my legs are just about to break. Uh, some of those missiles. Okay. Hey guys, it's been nice if you had done something. All right, we'll do another mission with one of the pre-mates and see if it goes better. How did we get an A rank on that? We lost an arm. Oh, we got level ups on our parts? Or we got new parts. It says four up, so I'm assuming that means they leveled up. Yeah, they leveled up. Okay. So all our parts leveled up. That's nifty. Prototype version is currently under development. Sure. Absolutely. Apparently somebody made a subway car. All right, let's do one more. Do World in Crisis, and we will pick. We want the Barga. Don't want the bikini armor. The Wild Beast. It looks really cool, though. The Zephyr. We should probably go with the White Griffin, because that's the, the default guy, right? Zephyr does look really cool, though. All right, we'll give it a shot. I don't know if we'll do the whole mission, but we'll give it a shot. GM, White Griffin, launching. Mission start. Okay, we do have a limited amount of ammo. Did not mean to fire everything. Oh, okay. Not leave the mission's boundary. Okay. Oh, okay. That's cool. No melee weapons, though. That's fine. Okay, so it just fires everything that's main armament then at the same time. You cannot tell me these are not command wolves. Also, they're very fast. Let's get moving. Multi lock confirmed. Missiles away. Like we have a lot of ammo, but we don't have infinite ammo. You know, the flight is pretty cool, and I like the way the boosting feels. I wish we didn't take contact damage if we weren't boosting, because sometimes it's not always clear when stuff is dead. You know, like there. The 
Eu sou zoado. It's also kind of hard to aim while in the air. Wave clear. You guys just spawned right on top of us, huh? But having something with guns that actually work is, uh, very useful. I don't know. Like, this is a game that I feel like I'm going to follow the uh, progress on, you know? See what kind of weird stuff they make. If they can, uh, if they can narrow down some of the mechanics. I like it so far. This was away. was a stagger animation. I do wish we had a little bit more vertical movement out of the... I guess if you don't push any button, you get more vertical. It's still not a lot, but... This is the way. Yeah, the boost feels good. The guns feel good. I can already picture a bunch of cool stuff I want to make in this system. It's a lot more customizable. It's more of what I want like armored core customizable to be, but the gameplay doesn't hold a candle to armored core yet, right? That's not to say they can't get it. And the boost feels good. I didn't even notice that we got a quad launcher destroyed. I really like the way parts just fall off you as they get destroyed. It's a really cool touch. things down but I did oh that's a way to get up in the air fast back and forth back and forth back and forth gets you in the air faster yeah I mean this is fun it'll really depend for me a lot on how much more polished it gets because as it is right now I could easily sink like 10 hours into this just making stuff and playing around with it you know but I don't know if I'd sink like 200. I feel like I'm probably getting pretty close to that in Armored Core 6 at this point. How did you live through that? Having a melee weapon on this guy would be nice. Zoi. So Zoi. Mostly trying to time my boost to dodge enemy attacks at this point. Because there's a lot of enemies. I kind of wish they didn't just spawn in on top of you. Oh, and apparently friendly fires, I think. But, like, the map textures aren't too bad, honestly. Ow. 
Did the missiles target him? Or did he just get hit by them? Ow! I'm unsure if that... It doesn't look like that's giving me more ammo or more health for my part. So I'm unsure what those pickups are doing. Maybe those pickups are giving me more level ups at the end of the stage. Oh boy. We're at about half of the ammo we started the mission with. That's a big guy. I don't know why, but that guy kind of reminds me of, oh, our other quad launcher's gone. That guy kind of reminds me of uh, a gummy ship enemy for some reason. Ooh, no, that's bad. I can't move. I can't move. Why can't I move? That wasn't great. Wow, okay. I mean, we took a bunch of damage when we weren't able to move, so... That was a problem. Alright. This game is interesting. I love the customization. I don't love the gameplay, but I love the boosting. That makes sense. I want to increase my boost bar somehow. Yeah, that's fair. I think we'd have been okay if we hadn't got stuck there. We took so much damage in such a short amount of time. Anyway. This game's cool. We'll go back to the main menu here. I've been Trey. This has been the full spectrum. Remember to always enjoy the full spectrum that Custom Mech Wars has to offer. And uh, we'll be checking the full game out once it comes out for sure.